In this video, we're going to cover why we need to reset our vehicle's ECU, when we need to reset it, and how do we reset it specifically for this engine. It's a Nissan uh, QR25DE engine, 2.5 liter petrol engine used in different Nissan vehicles. But before we get there, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It takes two seconds to do it and it will really help my channel and I would really appreciate your support. And if you like this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. So basically, before we get to that, to answer, before we answer the question, I'm going to say that the ECU is basically a computer in your vehicle and it manages mainly your engine, air, fuel and ignition. Um, all the sensors around your vehicle report back to the ECU. If it senses any faults or any problems or possible problems, it stores it in the ECU. Your ECU can also um, manage your automatic or CVT transmission. Different vehicles will have different ECUs that manage different things. So, why do we need to reset it? I'll drill it down to two. One is if you modify your vehicle, um, anything to do with air fuel, ignition, then the ECU will have to relearn all of that again. Um, and number two is if the sensors report any sort of fault, you get an engine light on your dash and then you plug in an OBD, OBD2 sensor, which will then diagnose it for you, tell you what the problem is, you get it fixed and then you got to reset the ECU or clear the code. Speaking of OBD2 um, reader, I do have another video I created. I've got an OBD2 um, reader that I purchased from eBay. I'll put a link in the description below. It's great. You can, you know, check your engine lights and clear it if you need to. Anyway, going back to the topic, um, that's basically what it is. Now, do you actually need to reset your ECU after you've done a modification? Well, no, you don't because the ECU is designed to relearn um, on its own. It does take time, I don't know how long time, but the reason why people decide to reset it after they do a modification is so they don't have to wait for that relearn process of the computer. They just, you know, reset it and then it learns straight away. Another reason why you would want, may want to consider resetting your ECU is, for example, if you just purchased a second-hand vehicle and um, you're not sure what the driving style of the previous owner is and you want the ECU to relearn your driving style, then that will be a good time for you to also reset your ECU. So how do you reset your vehicle's ECU? A lot of people would say, remove the battery, wait one hour, half a day, all day, whatever, and it will reset your ECU. Well, yes and no, depending on the vehicle. A lot of modern vehicles, um, have specific ways of resetting the ECU, not just by disconnecting the battery. It doesn't do anything apart from resetting your stereo and your clock, maybe. For example, the QR25DE engine of Nissan has got a specific way of resetting the ECU. So I suggest that if you ever decide to reset your ECU, um, do some Googling, see if there's a specific process for your particular engine and follow the process. So today I'm going to show you how to do a reset on this vehicle. I recently um, swapped out both of my O2 sensors, um, so I haven't cleared the engine light yet, so I will do that. So if you will jump into the vehicle and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Put the ignition into accessory. Within three seconds, pump the gas pedal five times. Now this has got to complete before the airbag light goes off. Release, hold for seven seconds. Pedal all the way to the floor and hold for 10 seconds. The engine light will start blinking, release, push it down again to the floor, hold for another 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, the engine light will blink rapidly, release, ignition off, hold, fire up the engine and you've completed the relearn or the reset process. 
it's all about timing guys if you fail once twice three times keep trying thanks for watching don't forget subscribe if you haven't yet i would appreciate your support and give this video a thumbs up if you like it see you in the next one